Hello producers and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Witecki. And this week your free horoscope is sponsored by yours truly. I am throwing my March Madness sale. Where if you buy a one hour reading, you will get a free 30 minute follow up sometime in 2012 of your liking. Come on down, my, my supply goes quick or you have to wait longer if you wait to buy it. But it is something I do, we lower the prices and we get a whole bunch of new clients. Perfect for a new reading uh, for yourself. Go ahead, it'll be fun. And come on down to soulgarden.me. It is your Facebook away from Facebook. We have a community of light and light workers. We call newcomers sprouts, and we're gonna help you grow and stand in your power and manifest what you want. We also have office hours, and we have a great love lounge, which is featuring Pisces singers this week, if you wanna do that. A lot of cool stuff that you won't get anywhere else. There's no place like Soul Garden. Come down and join our bowls. And we're always looking for more volunteers. If you wanna join helping us write or helping us manage, we are always looking for extra help. Now, the Bulls this month are working on their public persona. And I do want to do a little disclaimer. For those of you I watch over in the Guardian Agency, I've been sending out psychic with texts, and there's been a lot of them. And uh, I just want to say they're going to lead to something. So just keep answering them as they come. They're designed to ask questions that you otherwise might dodge. And I'm asking you when you don't expect it, so you get an honest answer. So this is an interesting experiment. Keep doing it. Now this week, we're gonna wrap up the transit on where you belong in the world, kind of positioning yourself uh, as to your context consciousness, how you see yourself in the world. And this turns into your branding, and this turns into your public persona, and your Facebook circles, and your you know Google circles, and all those sorts of things. It is how you see yourself in the context of the we. It is where you feel you belong, okay? And it's an upgrade, and it's where it's an escalator to heaven, basically, because with Neptune and Pisces, Tauruses are going to be escalating to more and more spiritually high vibrations every year uh, for at least a decade. So you're beginning that escalation right now. As we start off on Monday, there might be a little breakdown, some sort of snafu breakdown where your image falls apart or something you want to do falls apart. I know what mine was. The horoscopes weren't live. <laughs> That's because of Mercury retrograde also simultaneously hitting my mouth, literally. First time Mercury shut me literally down in the mouth, uh, which is kind of cool because I got the technology part down pesky Mer Mercury, but uh, it does mean that we reverse gears intellectually, we see things inside out, communication does break down, and it's the inside voice and the outside voice trading. So you begin to see what you have not been looking at in your mind. You start to see the scripts you may not always pay, pay attention to. Things blurt out of your mouth, people call you on it. Uh, technology breaks down, you're forced to listen, you can't connect when you want to. That's all part of the retrograde. Uh, for Tauruses, it does mean that you'll be reconsidering why you have faith in yourself, and you'll be coming to breakthroughs in inner faith, which depending on the Taurus may mean you manifest some sort of challenge that proves it to you. Some Tauruses do that, we'll talk about that, and that's a good likelihood, but on Monday, there is some sort of breakdown. The moon is in Scorpio on Monday, so your emotions are very much about your relationships, maintaining face with relationships, and of course your mirage, how you relate to yourself. On Tuesday, it's breakthrough time. Hopefully we get it, the message gets out, communication is working, Christopher's horoscopes are finally live, right? It's all starting to move forward. We're starting to get it. The moon does move into Sagittarius, so suddenly emotions shift to very trust, uh, trust boundary-based issues. So you might become vulnerable on Tuesday, or you might wanna hide or kind of go back or guard yourself, that's all normal. Remember, the whole topic is where do I belong in the world? How do I position myself? Where exactly should I stand, so to speak? Uh, and that includes even in the room, right? In the room of your world, in your family, where are you? Are you the, or the, or the, right? All right, so come to Wednesday, now we have our holy shift. This is what I've been building up to for so long. The universe has been building up. Really, the epicenter is, it's time for Taurus to take it to the next level. That is your ego, that is your claim, that is everything. Now, Jupiter in chapter one last year went up to 10 degrees and stopped and reversed gears. We are about to go where no Taurus has gone before, or at least since 1999, <laughs> when Jupiter was last in Taurus. Uh, Saturn was there too, so it wasn't much of a party. Venus says, hey, it is time to open up to new you, to new strength, which means new challenge. 
but hopefully ones you have decided to take on, right? And this is also new parts of your character, new character developments. I have some secret stuff I'm developing in my character I'm not telling the world about right now, but you might be considering that too. So that's the epicenter. What does it mean? It means you're going to have to let go of the old beliefs. Hey, I used to believe that I was, I never believed I'd own a text message business. I never believed in any of these things. So you're stepping away from old beliefs in order to move forward and you have to be willing to, to, to not know, to be novice again. You have to be willing to be novice again at something in your life, which Tauruses don't like. We like steady ground that we can build on, right? So the whole idea of novice, that's not fun. But really the big thing is Mars. Where you were headed with personal dreams, you might have been headed down false dream paths. What's a false dream path? Well, your heart thought you wanted it, right? That was before your ego got bigger and you moved into this new religion. Now your dreams kind of upgrade. So you might go backtracking on what you thought your heart wanted and be re or go back on go back to something you let you you set down. That might be the case where you set down what you really wanted and went down a false path uh, or you never even picked up what you wanted uh, or you never even bothered to look. But whatever it is, Mars retrograde for one more month says you're still going back on what your heart wants. It's going to retrograde all the way to like three degrees. But at this nine degree moment, there might be a major holy shift epiphany. Now, for those of you who set up for our uh, Guardian Agency Alert Network. You'll get alerts on Wednesday. We'll be sending you some text messages. If you're seeing this before Wednesday, you can still send in to the pool here, 96362. Text the word GA, text me to that. And what we do is we send you text messages when shift hits the fan, like Wednesday. Uh, the only thing that applies to your normal text message rates, and we'll send a little commercial to pay for the text message we sent you. Not a biggie. You'll, you'll, trust me, you'll like it. So give it a try. On Thursday, Thursday, what happens Thursday? Ah, Neptune Day. We log into our higher self. God kind of comes pouring into the earth. It's a time to kind of check intuitively am I on the right path is this really for me is this new place in the world where I belong does it feel right do you sense it right so you're checking with your psychic state of awareness on that day the grand trine has already moved on the moon now moves into Capricorn and on Thursday you've got to let go of your emotional attachments to the old beliefs to the old you to the old philosophy so you might have a literal catch yourself in the act of holding on to something that really isn't important in the new you so letting go of things that aren't important in the new you and catching yourself in that act. It's an old habit and Tauruses are very habitual, right, as creatures. Now moving on to Friday. Friday is commitment day. At this point you're committing to this I belong in the universe, this place, at least for now. Emotions are still theoretical, self-reflective, you're a little spacey, that's okay. You're kind of learning is what's happening, you're upgrading. Notice Uranus has hit four degrees on this day. The last time Uranus was four degrees, the stock market crashed and a world depression ensued. Depression ensued. So uh, it hasn't been to this degree since then. So we're all gonna be just kind of wondering. What it means for you is a stock market crash of inner faith. You will have an inner faith stock market crash. So something you once had faith in will crash. It might be a very good thing. It might be part of that Pluto. It might be part of the new you. It might be all necessary bulldozing to build the new inner faith. But it will come down and those in denial will probably feel it the hardest, unfortunately. Now, if you need some uh, company on Friday, don't forget about SG Live. We kind of have our little soul garden garden meeting where we all come at 11 a.m. Pacific. Find out where that is for you in the world. There's a live chat room. Our members get to know each other. We're talking about psychic awareness and really knowing how to trust your gut right now. So if you need some extra guidance on that, come check it out. And if you can't come live, we do record it. Then on Saturday, we're going to act. A lot of anxiety energy on Saturday. A lot of fear starts to pop up on Saturday. People are starting to realize the consequences of these decisions and shifts is what's happening. And at the same time, uh, Mars is ruling the day. So it's time to now act to, to start walking towards that new where you belong, to put it into action, to sign the soul contracts, to say goodbye to those you have to say goodbye to. It is that kind of day. This red line is fear. Fear of stepping out of your comfort zone of what you know into the unknown. You're afraid, you're stepping in the unknown, right? And at the same time, how do you play that off in the moment? How do you still stay in your power even though you're doing something completely new? This is all leading to a big spiritual transit where the sun is gonna conjunct this nice uh, Uranus, uh, Uranus Mercury conjunction next week. So there is not a holy shift, uh, holy moly. <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to brand it somehow. But that's happening. Also notice on Saturday, this is the moment where Mercury reaches the stock market crash degree. So whatever that crash is or might be, might happen. The moon moves into uh, your house of career. So although you're having breakthroughs of where you belong, you're actually pretty professional 
on Saturday. Also on Sunday, for just to wrap this up, Sunday is going to be a day of holding space, so you want to just kind of hold your space. You might be very career active on Sunday. I'll be teaching boot camp, so I know I will be. It'll be fun to have the students there. Uh, but it's really a day of just kind of holding this new public persona, all the while under the seams, your faith in yourself collapsing. <laughs> I mean that in a good way. I'm with you. Don't worry, Taurus. All right. Well, that's all I have for now. Now, don't forget, we've got the uh, 60 plus 30 for free on sale right now at Soul Mart. And come on down to the garden so you can get some soul support from us. Otherwise, I'll see you in seven days. Bull. Live, love, be.